Today, we are going to see how to install the Kubernetes cluster in DigitalOcean and how we can authenticate from our local PC to the DigitalOcean Kubernetes cluster. So uh, we need two things to be installed in the local PC. First one is the docctl command, and uh, the next one is uh, the kubectl command. So I have already installed the kubectl command. So let's install the docctl. So yeah, uh, I am using the official documentation, which is the preferred way. So I have a Linux machine today. So let's install using snap. Snap. <clears throat> okay. They are for security purposes. Well, they need some additional permissions. So let's grant those permissions. No problem. such keys okay no problem and docker login okay so we have successfully installed the doc cpl command yeah you can see that the command has been installed camera line like the phase for this deletion APA and now we can uh, sign into the account so I have already created an account uh, if you don't if you don't create your own account so let's sign into the account okay um, so I have a project here or uh, it's a default project um, so we can see that I don't have any resources at the moment. Okay, um, let's uh, go to the Kubernetes. And um, create a Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so um, select Kubernetes version and point to two point seven point DO. So this is a uh, version from uh, DigitalOcean. So it's a DigitalOcean Kubernetes release. Uh, it's not a um, official release from the Kubernetes, but uh, yeah, I do uh, believe it's a good version. So uh, choose a data center region. So I'll be choosing uh, India, uh, Bangalore. Okay, that's fine because my location is India. And VPC network, I yeah, it's default is enough for me right now. Uh, node pool name. So this is a uh, node pool, uh, which is the collection of your nodes in the cluster. So just give a name. Um, test um, basic nodes. I can choose uh, the basic nodes or premium nodes for like Intel premium nodes or AMD premium. Um, yeah, I think the AMD Premium offers better performance in these uh, three um, uh, nodes. Also, uh, but this is a, this is for a demo purpose, so I am only using the uh, basic node. So and node plan uh, twenty GB per node. So in this node pool, we have about uh, three nodes. So it will be costing about uh, uh, the price will be uh, sixty dollar per month. If you are using uh, three nodes in the node pool, so 2.5 GB RAM with, uh, with two per CPU, that, that's the uh, configuration for each nodes. Uh, so um, I don't need three nodes um, because it's going to be a uh, slightly high price if you, I use three nodes. So I just need only one need, one node and uh, the reason why I am using the Q Kubernetes for uh, DigitalOcean is uh, there is no uh, price for the Kubernetes, Kubernetes control plane at the moment. So that's why I am using the Kubernetes, DigitalOcean Kubernetes. Uh, but I think they are, they are offering a, a premium control plane and that is, uh, yeah, you can see that uh, the premium uh, control plane is available for 40 months per dollar. Uh, but I don't need that high availability control plane at the moment. So that's why I'm using uh, DigitalOcean because uh, uh, in AWS or many providers, they will be charging uh, about $60 per month for the 
um, control plane itself. So uh, you will be charged even if uh, you uh, don't run any instances or any nodes, you will be charged for the control plane. So um, that is a headache. But in DigitalOcean, um, they don't uh, charge for the control plane by default. So that's why. Uh, so I, I, I only have to pay uh, $20 per month for the bill of this node only. So uh, let's uh, create the cluster. Uh, name um, and tag uh, dev. Okay, create cluster. So uh, it will take some time to uh, uh, set up, and you can see that it's loading. Yeah, seeing showing some ad for the high availability control plane. I'm not interested. Um, create Kubernetes cluster and thank you for using manage Kubernetes. Uh, this usually complete in four minutes. Connecting and managing this cluster. Also, Kubernetes client. I have already installed Kubernetes automator recommended. So uh, we can try connecting to this um, cluster uh, using uh, this uh, command. So let's try that. Uh, so before we starting, uh, get kubectl get nodes. So this is my local node. Um, you can see that a port is running. Uh, it is uh, created for external security syncing from GCP. Uh, so this is my uh, local configuration. So let's uh, try this um, kubectl command for connecting uh, the DigitalOcean cluster. OK. Uh, I think uh, the current context has been changed. Let's um, try this. So we can see that uh, I think the DNS is not resolving at the moment. So the DNS entries has not uh, dated.
notifications to the Kubernetes cluster. So that's it for today. Bye guys.